I have to ask you, have you seen on our highways and byways those signs that say, putting Oregon back to work? Those signs are offensive to me. The government doesn't put people back to work, it's your taxpayer money that puts people back to work. People create jobs. Don't thank the government, thank yourselves. Those signs ought to be removed and they ought to be placed in front of businesses, shops, restaurants, factories, for the people and the business owners who are taking risks and creating jobs for Oregon, not government agencies 3,000 miles away. Joe Biden, our beloved vice president, last year said it's patriotic to pay taxes. Mr. Vice President, I, I tend to differ with you. It's patriotic to be like our pioneer forefathers who sacrificed, who took risk, who worked hard by building something that gives people their unalienable right to pursue happiness. You, the small business and the workers of Oregon, you are the ones we should thank, not the government that's taking your money and stealing all the credit. I want to be your representative, ladies and gentlemen, because I know how to do more with less. I know how to be prudent, how to save. But when government runs into hard times, what do they do? They tax. And if that's not enough, they increase your fees, your regulations, and ultimately, they force you and your employers to either pack it in or move across the river, or worse, move overseas. And then, almost according to plan, they ride in and sweep up the mess by contending we need another government program to make up for the miserable conditions that remain, conditions which they contributed to. Mr. Wu supports programs that compete with, en with industry to, quote, keep them honest. That's like playing one-on-one -on -one with a referee. Who's going to keep the government honest? I know the answer. You are going to keep the government honest, and that's why you're here tonight. Let's remember, in Oregon, we have the greatest resources in the world right here under our feet, both natural and human resources. Hey, Congress, give us the chance to fix our problems. Give us the chance to turn this around. We will unite as Oregonians through reasoned reform, not erratic rancor. And in closing, just a few blocks south of us, ladies and gentlemen, where we stand today is the Oregon Historical Society. Some of you will pass it as you return home. And as you do, you will see this inscription etched on the side of the foundation of that building. It's a quote from a governor of Oregon back in the 1940s, Charles Sprague. He said, in the long history of humanity, the most precious spark is that of individual freedom. You see, our Oregon pioneers valued and fought for freedom, and so will we. It is our time. We who possess in this park this night varied histories, backgrounds, even party affiliations. It is our charge to pioneer a restoration for our cities and Oregon and ultimately our own greatness. I ask you to join Cornelis for Congress and work with me in this, our great cause. Thank you. Let's do this. Yeah.